what? I have horrible things that I have to do to you again. Oh, look at Elf camping. Elf is doing some camping. Did you guys have a nice visit with your friend Gwen and your friend Lana? I bet you did. And now I'm going to ruin it. I'm going to ruin your day with this gross, yucky medicine. I'm very sorry, but it will help your tummy. It will help your tummy. Oh, of hers. That's nice. You must have had such a good day. Such a good day, because Joy over there, Holly's sister, is doing so well. I'm very excited because she actually flopped and she purred. She actually purred the first night she was here, or it might have been the second night she was here. She purred, which was exciting, but she actually came on her tail. Her tail went up and she flopped and she's choking her belly and she purred. It was very, very that's amazing progress for a six-month-old cat in three days. That's amazing. It's a testament to how amazing our snuggle crew is, that's for sure. That is for sure. That's for you. That's for that's in order of the sizes. This one is the beast. It's for you. It's for you. You don't weigh much more than Elf, but you're so much bigger. So you, I'm sorry to say, I'm probably not going to keep purring. I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry because I like when you purr. So I'm starting their next round of deworming and using something very yucky but very effective called Panicure. And it will get uh, extra things like Giardia that um, we can't get with regular dewormer, with the usual ones. Um, but you have to give it once a day for five days and it's really yucky, just like all the meds I have to do. So, they will not be fond of me. gigantic belly and then in the next couple of rounds of deworming so this is a good one but it's it may go flying all over the place and it's a lot it's a, it's a, a big amount so it's oh look see I didn't do your ears today maybe I didn't do them yesterday either I'll give you a break you dirty again but it's, uh, it's a lot of stuff and it tastes gross, so they usually fling, fling it all over as much as possible. Which is okay. It's okay, they can have a little, re a little revenge. A little revenge for me. Where are you going? Are you trying to leave? You're so handsome. So good job, Snow Crew. Definitely some big improvement with joy over there. Um, I also changed Mistletoe's bandage, so we got to look at it for the first time since her surgery and since her crushed toe was removed. And it's looking pretty good. There's nothing. There's no funky stuff coming out of it. There's no. It, it looks. It looks great. So. Um, her sutures are still holding and everything, um, so, and I managed to get it off without losing any fingers or toes myself, so that's good. And then I also managed to get a new clean bandage on, which, um, it's a little, it's a, it's a little bit tricky to hold a feral cat and bandage her at the same time, but she was pretty good about it, so. And thank goodness I had so much practice from casserole. One-handed feral cat bandaging is a skill that I now possess to some degree. <laughs> to at least an acceptable degree. These are things that you never know that you'll be good 
that when you grow up. <laughs> or at least, maybe not good, but at least acceptable. So she's, so that's good. It's good to know that that's heating up nicely. because he won't forgive me immediately for all the yucky stuff that I have to give him. It's a lot. It's a lot. But I feel less bad because they had some very good snuggles today. Well, they have very good snuggles every day, actually, which is why they're so... Our outcome is so good with you guys, even after just its... So we, I guess it's been two weeks since Jingle and Holly came in. And boy, has a lot, oh, look at that. Has a lot happened since then. Hmm. It's been an eventful couple of weeks. We went from two to six, and then from six to seven, and then from seven to eight. And that was it. That's all we can handle. That's more than we can handle, but we're Thanks to our amazing crew, we're making it work. Oh, and our amazing crew of kittens, too, they're pretty special. What's this? We lay down and eat now? Like the little princess? Little princess? Okay. Okay, buddy. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to do a little bit of um, restraining. So that we don't get too much slung about. So the, the, so the most that goes in and not all over the place. But oh, that was good. You're a good boy. You're a good boy. That's probably the best we're gonna do. That's good. I'm glad he did. He did very well. I was not. Now you should have a snack. Oh, oh, it's so cute. That's such a cute little happy tail. We love our happy tails. So now, little Miss Micro Poops. Cause your tummy, your tummy is growing. But prop, you feel more solid, which is good. But we still need to treat parasites. We still need to do it, and I'm very sorry because you're not gonna like it. I mean, but you've been really a trooper with all these yucky meds that I've had to give you. It's no fun. Oh, oh, it's so yucky. There you go. Good girl. That was a little thing. Here we have one more little bit to do. There. Oh, I know. I know. It's okay. She says, some humans are terrible. <laughs> I got a little dummy. She's grown though. Um, as of yesterday, I weighed them last night and she's gained 300 grams since she got here. And, um, so that's almost, she's almost doubled her weight, which is pretty impressive. Not that she had much weight to double, but now this guy is not a fan of meds, so he's probably going to be the hardest. Oh, there we go. Ready? A little more. Oh, he says, no, thank you. No, thank you. Good job, buddy. I'm sorry. I know. I'm sorry. I could try Perito with you next time. Talk to the Paul, he says. There we go. Got it. Got it. Good job. Oh, no. There's some drool on the microflu's tail. Oh, no. That's what, that's what normally happens. It goes everywhere. Oh, gosh. Don't tell microflu that her tail has been compromised. That's like actually that's actually mostly food and drool, even though it looks white. And yeah, that would be those. Now the elf. Oh, you can get elf, and then we'll be done with the specialty learning meds. Hi, the elf. She's giving me a look. I'm like, you're not you're not coming to me, are you? 
But you have one of the biggest tummies around. Yes, you do. Oh, that was better than when I picked her up last night. She was not excited about it because I came at her. I think scary way. Startled her. She didn't like it. No, she didn't. You're so cute. Did you have a good day today? Did you take your ears out? Are you, are you snarkling again, Winky? Oh, you got some more snarkle. Me just nose, nose discharge. She was looking pretty good for a couple of days, but looks like we've got some stuff coming back. Not unusual. Uh, micro floof, I know, has been sort of a little limpy on and off. Um, we did do an x-ray and there was nothing that showed on the x-ray. Um, it is a side effect of, of some viruses and, or bacterial infections that um, are very common. Um, uh, so what the side effect is shifting lameness. So she may be lame or limping. Sometimes and not other times, it may get worse or better. It may shift from one joint to another or one leg to another. Um, and so I am keeping an eye on the situation, but there's unfortunately nothing that we can do about it except treat the, provide supportive care for the viruses and treat any bacterial infections. And so we are doing all of those things, of course, and um, her little body is starting to turn a corner, which is good. You've seen her playing and stuff, which is excellent. But it will just take time. And um, if she continues to live after she's feeling much better, then um, we'll take another look and see if there's anything. It's hard when they're so tiny to... to, um, to because they're, they're growing and things are changing and um, they haven't developed all of their bone stuff. So we'll see if anything changes, but uh, hopefully it's something that will go away once the, once the virus or viruses are on their course, or if it's a bacterial infection like mycoplasma. Um, we are treating that, but that can take some time also. So, unfortunately, oh, look at that. That's the waiting game. That was a very productive one. That was very productive. I am cleaning out the... Oh, I do like that. She likes that when I clean her ears. She purrs when I clean her ears. Because it probably feels good. That's just um, remnants of the... They had such bad ear mites that... Um, it's continuing to be uh, very gunky in there, so, and we clean it as best we can, but then it has to work its way out from the inside. So, um, they have been treated for your mites, but when they have such bad infestations, it takes time for it to uh, resolve, and they will get another treatment. Um, just to make sure when we can give them another treatment, but until then, we cleaned it out. So, Dr. Ferguson has not seen any live ear mites in any of the cats she's seen so far. Um, it's just the irritation and the, the buildup. There she goes. I can get her to start purring when I clean her ears. She has a little spot in there that makes her purr. So cute. So cute. Little purr button hidden in her ears. Mm-hmm. Because it's so itchy. Ear mic worse, huh? Yes. Oh, so much purr. She's got, she's got a good little purr with right her. Don't you? Don't you? You're so cute. Oh, she likes it. Pretty good. 
this one was worse. This one was the worst. Let's do one more on this way now. That's pretty good. Pretty good. You're so cute. You're so cute. What is happening over there? Oh my gosh. Nicholas is upside down and being ridiculous. Oh my. You can probably see him on the picture. Picture. Ridiculous. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. You guys are so cute. You must have had a good visit today. Did you have a good day today? Did you? I hope you did have a good day today. You deserve it. Um, I did blacklight them last night just to see how uh, everything's progressing. Uh, they are still fluorescing, which is not at all a surprise. It doesn't mean the treatment's not working. Ringworm is really hard to get rid of. It takes a, quite some time. So um, that's why we have to treat. Min minimum time to cure is 42 days. So um, it is expected that they would continue to fluoresce. We just have never, um, I know it, yeah, like I know at labs they don't blacklight after the initial diagnosis. I just thought it would be interesting to see how it changes over time and if there's a way that, if, if I'll notice the fluorescence going away and if at that point, if we test, does that mean they're clear? So I'm just curious to see if there's any way for us to get a better idea of when to start testing for, to see that they've been cleared. So that's the only reason I'm doing it. I'm not doing it expecting that they're not going to fluoresce because, um, they definitely are going to. So don't be alarmed that they were fluorescing last night. That's totally expected. Okay, now before you scoot off, I know you're not going to like this, and I'm very sorry. I'm very sorry because I know your nose is ringing and it's not it's no fun. Oh, the green has stopped. She knows it's coming. She's good at. Like, <laughs> this is, I know your game. I know your game. She closes her mouth and refuses to swallow. What do you think? Yeah. There you go, good girl. Thank you. She spits it out. I'm on to the whole. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, there we go. Mm, it's so tasty. She's like, I have jaws of steel. I will not, there you go, I will not swallow this wretched substance. Why do you do this to me? I purred for you, why do you do this to me? I'm sorry, but this will make your tummy feel so much better. You will, just do it, just do it. They will make your tummy feel so much better. Did I not promise your ears would feel better and now they feel so much better? Yes. Oh, it feels like this, doesn't it? It does? Oh, yes, shake it. Oh, good, that's good, all right? There, maybe you forget about the yucky stuff that's put in your mouth. It's so yucky. So, pretty good progress all around with these guys. Michael Fluke has gone camping. Jingle is behind me in the Infinity. They're exhausted from their big day. They had a big day today. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're so cute. I'm sorry to give you lucky man. They're very lucky. They're very new to me. I can see that too. But they will make you feel better. Because she, look at that belly. Look at that belly. Oh, that's a belly right there. That's a big belly. Hey, look at some snacks. Oh, snacks will make everything better. She says, no, not to be weak. Not to be weak. So yucky, but they're so cute. So, next bath day is Monday. We're going to start around 10 a.m. Pacific. And I think that's about it. Okay, I have one Q-tip left. Who wants it? Who wants it? How about this guy? How about this guy? He's like, pass. 
Oh, you oh you definitely need it. You might need more than one. I'm gonna have to go get go restock. Go restock, and then I'm gonna go, and then it's time to get casting for stretching. Remember to keep your mouth closed when they shake. Cute. Oh my goodness. I can't wait till you get to go home with your family. Whoever that is. And hopefully I think a good I think good good parents at this point, although this could change. Oh that's nice. I think macro foods and micro foods would be a good pair. And elf and Nicholas seem to enjoy each other's company. Oh, too much for 
Oh, that little tummy is so cute. It's very big now. It's much bigger than you can see. How are your ears, little Michael Poops? Oh, they need to be cleaned. They do, they need to be cleaned. They do. Can't let our little princess have her little ears be dirty. No, we can't. Your ear loop makes it hard to see. That is skunky. I've cleaned their ears pretty much every day, at least once a day since they arrived. And they're still producing gunk. Some gunk is normal. This is not, this is like, what happens when you have massive ear mites your whole life. Massive ear mites. It's like an all-inclusive vacation for ear mites. It is all-you-can-eat buffet. Good job. Good job, M. Zeus. That's right. There we go. All right, I think we're all done. Ears are clean. We're starting our next round of deworming. Hopefully, your tummies will start to get smaller. Thank you. 